What's up guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Wednesday, March 4th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Hey guys, our cash game lineup optimizer is now live. Playing cash games is the secret to building your bankroll. So that's why we've created our cash game lineup optimizer that will generate a lineup based on the highest projected ownership. In cash game lineups, you want safer plays that carry less risk and are owned by a larger percentage of the field. By using the wisdom of the crowd, we will generate a cash game lineup based on ownership projections. This new tool is available right now, so come on in and start building your bankroll. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know, we added our first version of the XFL Position Optimizer which has projected points, projected value, and we're gonna have projected ownerships in there as well. We're gonna be adding more XFL tools to Draft Dashboard, so come on in and give those a try. Okay, who do we have at the point guard position? I'm gonna give you a value play here. He's a mid-range player on DraftKings. He's a nice value play on FanDuel. I like Shabazz Napier from the Washington Wizards playing the Portland Trailblazers who have the fifth worst defense overall and they give up the 10th most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Shabazz Napier has averaged 23.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 24 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He's only scored 19, 26, and 14 fantasy points in the last three games, but he's played 27, 25, and 24 minutes. This guy's capable of a 30 plus point game. He's projected at 25.4 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 5,000 DraftKings salary and 400 less on FanDuel. So I love that FanDuel price. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 239.5 points scored in this game. That's a super high scoring game. So tons of fantasy points to go around. It's a fast paced game and a great matchup. So I like Shabazz Napier here versus the Portland Trailblazers. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like Marcus Smart from the Boston Celtics playing the Cleveland Cavaliers who have the second worst defense overall and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Marcus Smart has averaged 30 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 19% usage rate. He scored 48, 52, and 44 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 35, 44, and 37 minutes. There's a couple players questionable for the Celtics, so Marcus Smart should get plenty of run tonight. He's projected at 32.2 fantasy points here tonight, He's gonna need about 35 fantasy points to hit five times value. He's 7,000 DraftKings salary and 500 less on FanDuel. So I like that FanDuel price. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 216 points scored in this game. It's a fast paced game and a fantastic matchup. So I like Marcus Smart here versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. And if you're looking for a value play at Shooting Guard, Take a look at Dante DeVenzenzo. I think I butchered that last name, but Dante from the Milwaukee Bucks playing the Indiana Pacers who have a good defense overall and they've been great versus opposing shooting guards, but Dante has averaged 
21.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 23 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. He's played 26 and 27 minutes in the last two games, and he's projected at 22.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.2 times value. He's only 4,300 DraftKings salary and 100 less on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 221.5 points scored in this game. It's a home game and a fast-paced game. So I like Dante here versus the Indiana Pacers. Let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Josh Okoji, another value play for you here from the Minnesota Timberwolves playing the Chicago Bulls, who have a middle of the pack defense overall and their middle of the pack defending opposing small forwards. Josh Okoji has averaged 19.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 25 minutes per game with a 16% usage rate. He scored 20, 24, and 28 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 30, 22, and 27 minutes. He's projected at 20 fantasy points here tonight. He's going to need about 23 fantasy points to hit five times value. He's 4,300 DraftKings salary and 100 less on FanDuel. So I think he's a viable value play here. If you're looking for some salary to open up your lineup, Vegas thinks there's going to be 226 points scored in this game. It's a home game and a fast-paced game. It's a decent matchup. So I like Josh Okoji here versus the Chicago Bulls. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. I'm gonna give you another value play here. Now don't stick all these guys in your lineup. Pick the value play that you like best. Of course, they're not all gonna hit. Value plays are risky, that's why they're low salary, but I like Chetty Osman from the Cleveland Cavaliers playing the Boston Celtics, who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing power forwards, but Chetty Osman has averaged 21 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. He scored 25 fantasy points last game in 39 minutes. He's projected at 20.4 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's 4,100 DraftKings salary and 300 less on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 216 points scored in this game. It's a home game and a fast paced game. So I like Chetty Osman as a value play, a player that's got 30 plus point fantasy upside. So I like Chetty Osman here versus the Boston Celtics. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Rudy Gobert from the Utah Jazz playing the New York Knicks, who have a middle of the pack defense overall. And although they've been pretty good versus opposing centers, Rudy Gobert has averaged 40.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. He's projected at 40.7 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 8,000 DraftKings salary and 400 less on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 220 points scored in this game. It's a fast paced game. And Rudy Gobert has scored 47, 33, 48, and 48 fantasy points in the last four games versus the Knicks. So that's nice player versus team history. So I like Rudy Gobert here versus the New York Knicks. If you wanna try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups 
using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck. Okay guys, if you're getting any value from this video, please hit that red subscribe button. We put out new fantasy basketball videos every single day. So if you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification, you won't miss out on any of our new fantasy basketball and fantasy football videos. Tons of free stuff coming your way. It only takes a second and it helps us push out more fantasy content for you guys to consume each and every day. It's because of you subscribers that make this possible. So thank you for supporting this channel. This is a quick reminder, you should be reading the comments of this video. We have some savvy basketball fans who watch these videos and they often give great plays and call me out when my picks are wrong. Wisdom of the crowd is a great way to get a feel for what players the field likes in today's NBA slate. We also have a DFS tool that shows you what players our members like for today's slate. So you can come on in and check that out.